Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I'm Veronica Gabriel. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Michigan's top election official says if you are voting absentee and you still have your ballot in your hand, do not put it in the mail. Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson says you should put them in a drop box or take them to your local clerk's office instead. She says putting them in the mail with only two weeks to go before election day is just too risky. Benson says hand it deliver your ballot to make sure it arrives by election night so that your vote will be counted. So far, more than 3 million people have requested ballots and more than half of them have already been returned. Well, the Michigan Dam Safety Task Force is meeting online today. Members are expected to talk about legislation, enforcement, design review, funding and security at the dams. The virtual meeting is on Zoom and it's open to the public. If you'd like to join, just click on the link on the hot link section of WNEM.com. Opening tonight, Flint Mayor Sheldon Neely will host a community input session on the future of I-475. You can watch it live. Just head over to the hot link section of WNEM.com. That meeting starts at 630. Now here's meteorologist Chris Eastlake with a look at your forecast. Hey, Chris. Hi there, Veronica. Everything looking a lot better this morning after some rain last night. It looks like those showers quickly moving out. Your sky tracker showing things drying out across mid-Michigan. Anything from this point forward through the morning should be pretty isolated. I think we'll have a chance for a little sunshine to break out this afternoon as well. Temperatures also getting warmer today. I think we'll be right around the mid 50s this afternoon. We'll stay pretty dry through this evening. I think overnight into tomorrow morning, we'll start to add some cloud cover back to the mix and eventually some showers will follow. Those will be pretty scattered at first through the morning commute, but then become more widespread as the morning goes along. They'll move northward throughout the course of the day, clearing our northern counties last, and then we'll dry out into Thursday night before the cold front starts to move in on Friday. High temperatures today should be around those mid 50s, so close to average. Many areas still just below that mark, but some warmer days ahead. Thursday, it looks like we'll reach back into the 60s for at least parts of the region, and then some 60s again on Friday before 40s return as we go towards the weekend. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.